Welcome to our tutorial on the TrueView Go, an advanced handheld LiDAR scanning product from GeoQ. Today we're going to go over how to maximize your use of this advanced tool. Let's begin with unboxing the TrueView Go. Inside the package you'll find the TrueView Go unit, a USB Type-C cable, a USB flash drive, lens cleaning wipes, device batteries, an operation tablet, tablet holder, a battery charger, and the chest support bracket kit. The TrueView Go has RTK or PPK capabilities with the GNSS antenna, point cloud colorization with the three HD cameras, the rotating LiDAR head, and the TrueView Go tablet for real-time point cloud visualization. Before starting a scan, ensure that you're beginning with a fully charged battery. Once this is verified, you can install it into the back of the TrueView Go. There are two modes for scanning, handheld mode and chest support mode. When installing the handle, make sure it is securely screwed into place to prevent the device from falling off during the scan. Should you need to set your device down, just attach the handle base to the bottom. For short scans, the TreeView Go is light and convenient to carry while you walk. The most simple way to use the TreeView Go is using its one key control mode. To begin, long press the device's on-off key for 5 seconds. Once the indicator light is green, the device is powered on successfully. After this, the device will enter diagnostics mode, with the green light flashing rapidly. Once no issue is detected, the green light will become steady. To begin a project, short press the device's on-off key. The laser head will begin rotating, keep the device steady and stable, and make sure no obstructions are around. After the device has initialized successfully, the device will start data collection automatically. At this point, the green light is flashing slowly. Stop the data acquisition by short pressing the on-off key again. It is important to note that the one key control mode will not offer RTK corrections. You also cannot collect the capture scene, which will default to indoor scanning mode. However, for longer scans, you can utilize the chest support bracket for added stability and comfort. Fasten the brackets on the side and adjust accordingly. Be sure that the reflective stripes are worn towards the back. Then, attach the swing arm using the appropriate screws to lock it into position. Insert the tablet holder into the swing and secure the tablet in place. Now you are ready to lock the TrueView Go into place and tighten. Be sure to hold the TrueView in place once you begin scanning. You can configure the TrueView Go using the included tablet. Once connected, you can view projects through project management, check for firmware updates, or press start capture to begin a scan. Here if we open the settings, we can enable the colorized point cloud and enable or disable RTK corrections. This setting will not affect the ability to PPK a dataset. Once everything is configured correctly, you can press the green button on the left side. Then, give your project a name and press OK. The last thing we'll choose is indoor or outdoor mode. Once this is selected, the scan will begin. There are three scenarios where you can collect your data. First, when collecting data indoors without the access to GNSS, SLAM processing is used. This stands for Simultaneous Localization and Mapping. This method allows you to map the environment without GPS. And later, you can geo-reference your data in LP360 LAN. For outdoor data collection, you have two options. First is RTK. You can connect your TrueView Go to an RTK provider or a base station for live corrections as you collect the data. The second outdoor option is PPK. This method automatically logs GNSS data during your collection and corrections are applied later on in post-processing. You'll need a base station to provide these corrections. No matter which method you choose, you can also add checkpoints during data collection to improve accuracy, which we'll demonstrate shortly. To add control points to a scan, align the metal tip on the bottom to the desired control point. Then, in the TrueView Go app, press Add Control Points. Give the control point a number and press OK. If using this method to geo-reference your point cloud, a minimum of four will be needed. During an indoor scan, loop closures ensures proper point cloud alignment and minimizes the point cloud drift. It is important to note that loop closures are not needed for outdoor scanning with the GNSS connection. To import a completed cycle, choose Cycle Import and then choose TrueView Go. Next, click Add Cycle and choose a project. 
This can be straight off of the Go unit if plugged in. Then choose your processing mode, PPK, RTK, or SLAM, depending on the capture scenario. In the next screen, you can give your project a name and choose the coordinate reference system. Local will be used for any SLAM only processing. Once complete, the cycle will import and processing will automatically begin. You can view the status of this processing by clicking Job Manager here. Once the state of the job changes to ready, you can then select it and carry on with post-processing. The TrueView Go is one of a kind and has countless use cases. That'll do it for this beginner's guide. Be sure to stay tuned for additional tips and tutorials.